guys, welcome back to another DOY Creations video. I am Jeanette, aka Soraya, and I want to thank you guys for tuning in to this video. All right, guys, on my previous video, I was sharing with you guys this um, shawl that I made, which is a crossbody long version shawl. And I shared with you guys that I was going to be inserting some pictures, but I did not insert, I did not upload the video that had the inspiration of what made me go in this direction of making this crossbody shawl. Um, so in this video, I am going to share with you guys my inspiration. I'm going to double check to make sure that you guys are seeing those pictures. And I'm also going to be sharing with you guys my mannequin wearing it as well. I said I was going to do an outfit of the day. As you can see, I have it on. But you're not getting a full body um, outfit of the day. Uh, this room that I have in here is too small and the lighting is not like I need it to be. But anyway, you seeing my inspiration and you seeing my mannequin, you will see the full uh, look that I'm going after. So anyway, guys, so in this video, I just want to share my... I don't know if the picture is going to be over here. Or over here, but I'm going to say over here. I think it goes over here. This is where I got my inspiration from. All right. So hopefully that picture is a popping up right there. And also, um, here is my mannequin wearing it right here. Now, if the picture are showing right here, Please forgive me because I always try to remember which direction I need to be pointing to, but somehow I get twisted every time. But I'll definitely be popping a picture of my inspiration, of what made me go in this direction of, of making this, and also uh, letting you see my mannequin. Like I said, you guys, I just wanted you to see how I look like halfway with it on. Um... Yeah, so this is just halfway, and I went into details about the yarn that I used, which I know it was the Burnett Pop. I used only one skein of this yarn to achieve this look. And like I said, I'm just going to take it off real quick so you guys can see it up close in person again. I like it. Oh, something that I did differently from even my mannequin having it on um, I brought it up some more. So I had the slit on the side a little farther down, but I brought it up a little bit more. So this is how it looks up close. I got to sew in some of my longer pieces. So I went into details about the part. I mean, the uh, it's pretty long, as you can see. What makes it a crossbody? All I did was I seamed up the side is seamed up in the color of black all right i only seamed up one side of it so this part is open all right it's open and the way that you put it on is you just put it over your head or you can just put your arm through put it over your head and then you could just straighten it out for yourself and by one side being open and the other side not being open you have a crossbody shawl and this is how it looks and like i said the mannequin will be wearing it i absolutely love this right here guys um uh, just show you this is how it lays on you let me just go back just a little bit. You see how it's open and you just wearing it right across yourself. All right. So I love it. And like I said, you just pretty much just seaming it up on the side. You can bring the seam up. I had the seam kind of down all the way here. And what I was, well, I got, I probably had it down here. And what I did this morning was I brought the seam all the way up to here so it can snug me a little bit more 
under my arms. And you just bring it down on that side. And I absolutely love that. I love this right here. I cannot tell you how many chains that I made. I did this on our Sunday Live. I was talking and we were just crafting. And I just crocheted, 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 crocheted. And what happened, I didn't count how many. Initially, I was trying to count how many. Let me, sorry, guys. Something popping up on my screen. Uh, initially, I was counting and then I lost the count. But you guys get the idea. All right. So that is how it just lays right over you. You can uh, wear a belt around here. Um, I bust, I pulled out um, this black belt, but it depends on what color you are making. You can wear a belt or not. Let me just show you if I did have a belt on. You're not getting the full, you know, the full outfit of the day, but you're getting somewhat outfit of the day. If I wanted to, you know, just wear a belt around it, I could have it, you know, just like that. Or not. Like I said, I was trying to see how it looks both ways. Uh, I wish I would have, I wish I would have counted how many uh, chains that I made. But if you decide to make it, you can make it whatever length you want. As you can see, this is pretty long. And this one lays over my knees. But you can bring it shorter if you want to. Or if you want to have it. As long as I have it, which is hanging over my knees, you can do that as well. So whatever you prefer would be okay. So I'm really loving this. I really liked how it turned out. Um, there's no rhyme, no reason of the stitches that I use. I use the mash stitch. I use the V stitch. I use uh, double crochet, half double crochets. I was just playing around with different stitches. And like I said, I was trying to come as closely as I could to my inspiration of me making it. And like I said, it was Lynn from uh, the sitcom TV show Girlfriends. I was Diana Ross' daughter, Tracy, Ross, Tracy Ellis Ross. And, you know, the whole uh, crew was four uh, best friends. So I was inspired by the things that she was wearing. And I got a couple of things that she has really inspired me to make. But when I saw her with that one, I was like, I can replicate that one as close as I possibly can. And let me know in the comments, do you think, do you like how mine's turned out? Another thing is uh, hers were more brighter colors, but um, I love more earth tone. Hers pretty much earth tone as well. So I just grabbed the first yarn that I seen. I used it. And again, this is one skein of Burnett Pop. Make your chain, because I know someone's going to ask me to probably do a um, tutorial on it. But make your chain as long as you want your chains to be. And once you make your chain, put it across your neck and bring it down and see if that's the length that you want. And then just start making up stitches. You could do all double crochets, half double crochets, whatever stitches that you want. Okay, so there's a quick tip in case anyone asks me. But anyway, guys, please let me know in the comments. How do you get how do you think mine's turned out compared to hers? I really absolutely love it. And um, yeah, and I think it looks so fashionable. It's very, very fashionable. Okay. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another DOY Creations video. You know I appreciate it so so very much. If you have not already subscribed, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit your bell settings to all. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, stay in the word of the Most High. Stay prayerful and stay encouraged. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye guys.